you're doing track, you're doing basketball. When did it start shifting to like, okay, I think track is going to be the main one. It didn't, it didn't really shift for me until, so I went to a community college and mm-hmm. for basketball and I played two years of community college. It didn't shift until after community college. Um, basically. Yeah. Cause so you I were still doing was, both the whole time. So you were good at both through high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's I right. You're, you're in your high school's hall of fame. Of course. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was no. good at both. Yeah. I was good at both. And I went to a community college to, to run, to play basketball. And basically it was my last year of playing basketball. I could have left. I did sign a, I did sign a track scholarship out of, out of high school um, to, to the University of Mississippi. I did, but I ended up going to play basketball for two years. I could have left after my first, but my basketball team was pretty good. And I was like, you know, I just stick it out. Um, it didn't shift to my second year because of, uh, we had a situation where we was going to regionals and uh, we made, a re- to re- made it to regionals and two of the, the, two or three of the players on the team got caught smoking weed. <laughs> and we ended up going to regionals with like six people. And- uh, Wait, like I thought I you said two. That sounds like- the, Yeah, we ended point. up with six people on, at regionals. We got blown out. Like it was not even right how blown, we got blown out. And, you know, the week of that practice before we headed off to regional, I was like crying my eyes out because, you know, I was just disappointed in how uh, my last year was going to finish. Obviously, we knew it was going to lose. But um, so I got on the phone with my mom and she basically said, if you want to continue relying on other people, continue to play basketball. Because I had basketball offers. I could have I could have continued to play basketball. And then she said, but if you want to focus on yourself, go run track. Got tired of depending on other people. I chose track and field instead. Yeah, no, nah, that's that was a smart decision. <laughs> I'm wondering if uh, uh, what would have happened if your one of your, your favorite athletes would have done that. I, I know you're a LeBron <laughs> fan, so I'm like, I don't yeah, know. LeBron um, might have no, been nice at track. Yeah, LeBron could have been. I could think he would have been well at track, football, basketball. I think he was just he's just an athlete. Of course. Yeah, he's a He's an athlete for sure. Yeah, yeah, no. So, okay, so you're in Juco now. You can't. You grew up in Mississippi. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, which part? Uh, Gulfport, Mississippi. It's on the Gulf. It's on the Gulf Coast. Okay, I have a buddy from Mississippi. Um, you know Otis? Last name? Otis Harris. I figured the track world is small. How many <laughs> Mississippi Olympic medalists? <laughs> I just know the Bianca Knights and the what? Tour Bowie. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> yeah, man. Otis, 400 runner, 2004 Olympics. He got a silver uh, by in Germany oh, and a, a gold on the 4x4. Four four. Oh, nice. Man. Come on, Mississippi. Yeah, I okay. Yeah, I know for sure. <laughs> <laughs>